Hey everyone. Maybe you're the mistake, musclehead. That does not make sense. Oh, here we go. Misspoke. You could say he uh made a mistake. Oh boy. Well, walked into this again. <clears throat> uh, by the way, if you hear a very, very slight humming in the background, <clears throat> uh, apologies. I. It, I got an idea. How about we find some backwater world and go off grid for a while? Nova Corps ain't gonna chase us forever. You want a bat rocket? <laughs> well, backwater worlds are like his natural environment. The guy's tearing for Flark's sake. Oh, hey, thanks. I heard that. Wow, Rocket. Wow. You're right. Drax wouldn't hide from the cops. True. It would be cowardly and dishonorable. Yep, there we go. <laughs> um, as I was saying, it, it's really quite warm for me tonight. Um, I've got the fan on and the aircon, so slight humming, that's all it is, just to keep myself uh, cool. I got things straight. Because nice, that's... Because they don't exist for the difficult missions. Well, at least had a forest. Okay, seriously, next person to open this, I'm putting a bloody latch on this thing, on this first to keep it closed. Excuse me. Come on, it's only going to take a tick. Shoot, you're right. We ain't got no roto adhesive left. <clears throat> okay. I suppose. Oh, and I've discovered a. Well, when I say. <clears throat> discovered. <clears throat> Dry up. That's what I want to do after this mission. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, after we pay this fine, let's see. He's gonna say. Contraxia, Contraxia again. Contraxia? Who cares if I'm predictable? Contraxia's got nice weather. Yeah, I'll take your word for that one, <laughs> on that one, Rocket. <clears throat> but um, I, I, I had, I had um, read somewhere that there was supposed to be a shortcut. This could all have been avoided if the rodent had relinquished his hidden cache. For uh, photo mode, and I figured How it out. How many times do I gotta tell you I ain't got no units? At least forty-three. <clears throat> That's how many times I've had to deny being a shapeshifter before Drax moved on to something else. I still have my doubts. It is not possible for you to slip into combat armor this fast. I use a lot of lotion. Right. Okay. Moving on. I mean, I, I, that can be taken a lot of ways. Just saying. So, um, money if we well. By nowhere first. Will you please stop? I can't believe I'm about to say this, but <sighs> for a change. D ha ha have you met this group, We're Kamara? On crazy <laughs> about to be soaked to the bone on our way to squeeze our last chance at freedom out of some mythical warlord. Lady. War lady. Additionally, Nova Corps confiscated <clears throat> your crate of weaponry. Yeah, that too. I'd forgotten about that. Do you need a hug? Case in hand? <laughs> and, uh, moving, trying to move steadily on. No, we should not go. We got it. It's different. That true. Hope that jacket of yours is waterproof. Actually, I, I, I you know what? You make a fair point, Gamora. I, I, I hear your advice there. I think, um. I might, this was just, I think I might like, I mean, we are going on to a planet, which is, uh, gonna have some wind, it just keep us so sheltered a bit from that, so, uh, yeah. If we go to any dry, any, um, uh, very, um, environmentally friendly places, with a nice environment, whether it be dry, but at least not windy or raining, I'll probably chuck on the other outfit, the City Lord, so, yeah. <clears throat> A bit of a sound suggestion there, Gamora. I do like that. Thank you. They say that Seknarf 9 is inhospitable to soft-bodied beings. We shall see how you fare, Peter Quill. Well, thank you for your concern in your very, um... straightforward manner. Of course. It had to be raining. Well, would you... Would you uh, well, how about this? Would you like there to be a hurricane or... 
maybe a tsunami. Uh, uh, I don't know. I'd be thrilled to finally set foot on Seknarf Nine tracks, but you're awfully composed. In other circumstances, I would be thrilled, but we will humiliate ourselves by trying to sell sentient lumber to Lady Hellbender. Don't she like lumber? What about the legend of her mighty battle axe? She possesses a number of weapons, and not all axes are meant to cut down trees. Sure. The lady won't hurt you either way. I'll make sure of that. Let's just take this one step at a time, people. Okay, here we go. This is gonna this is gonna go completely madly wrong, isn't it? Hellbender's castle isn't even that far. That is not a castle, it is an impregnable fortress. So how do we impregnate it? Ask Peter! <laughs> oh my Let's god. Closer. We'll figure it out on the way. That <clears throat> Wow, we're taking a lot of There's assumptuous um thinking, aren't we? <laughs> Who the hell knows at this point? Ouch. Hey, is my jacket all right? At least you got a jacket. Some of us are soaking here. Less whining, more whining. It's not our fault you don't wear a jacket, Rocket. Seriously. It'll take forever in this storm. Stop complaining. The hardship will strengthen your spirit. I face more than enough hardship. Thank you very much. We'll walk, we'll hike. It'll be fun. Woohoo! Team Hikey trip. That's just a fancy word for walking. Come on, at least you won't be bored. <laughs> <laughs> Stone fall and we'll be fine. Uh, you must face Lady Hellbender's rage head on. Almost sounds like you want to get hit by lightning. I would not expect a Chitari trader to understand the underlying value. The underlying value of getting hit. Of being direct, you child of subterfuge. What is your problem? Lady Hellbender scoffs upon duplicity and dishonor. Oh, hey, okay, focus, focus here, people. Can we refocus here. We're here to trick some lady, not kill each other. Exactly. Lady Hellbender is a no warrior. And a queen. And stinking wreck. Exactly. She's a stinking rich warrior queen businesswoman. And she won't be able to resist a good deal. Same as us. Perhaps some of us. Bloody hell! That was way too close. Well played, Lady Hellbender. Good God! So we're still Holy shit! Uh, okay. Well, you know, I seriously can can we just you know keep the lightning to a minimum? I I don't. I'm just asking that out of some forlorn hope. I honestly am. I, I just. Take, take it into context. I mean, I, I know I'm asking the weather to behave. I know, I know, silly suggestion, I know. But I'm asking... And look at those storm clouds as I'm saying this and thinking... But just... Uh, I tried. I tried. Oh god, okay, do I have to avoid all this crap, do I? Whoa! Okay! Dutch. Three cycles. It's called scouting, okay? Yeah, I'm trying to figure my way around here, all right? Give me a moment. Jesus. Bloody hell! Okay! Says we hide under 
Yep, I'm uh, just gonna wait this out. Okay. I'm just gonna uh, weep between knees, just uh, bear with me. No kidding! Doesn't stop her from trying, to be honest, Gamora. Let's face it. Oh god, this is- Oh, this is not good! Not good! Well, we're alive. That That's a good start, I guess. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. We should have gone to Marco 4. Hey, check out the old resistance ship. Wow. That's pretty cool, Shot actually. But still cool. This one and her Chitauri friends. We weren't friends. Uh, guys. Um... What? Eh, not sure. <laughs> what the actual? Um. Okay. This is just getting weird. Huh. Okay. Huh. Interesting. We. Oh, great. We've got spiky stars! Oh, just how much... I'm not even going to finish, I'm just going to say, because it's already going to happen. I'm just foreboding my own self, aren't I? Yep, I'm foretelling my own foreboding, yep. N never mind. Be moving now. It would be wary, uh, you know what, I survived freaking half-world. I think I'm scared of some little bit. Oh, shh! It's not alone. You were saying, rockets? Oh, come on! Wow. I mean, seriously, look at what the... What? What the hell? Like... <laughs> I'm, it's, <laughs> come on, seriously. The, so we're getting fur with, like, fur spikes that have, what, consistency of diamonds? Like, come on. It just... Ugh. Oh, dearie me. Oh, well. <sighs> Let's have at it then. Nice. Well, that was terrible. Nice. Hang on! Ah, oh, bugger in hell. Nice! Are you kidding me? A purple one? Wait, just... Ugh. Really? Really? No rest from it? Like, we we just, like, what we're gonna come up with, you know, uh, I don't know, beige? The nearest version of pink? Um... 
I suppose I should really just be naming, honestly, just name of random color type, random color names at this point because, that, no, like this one. Last time I checked this, and no joke, there was what was it? I think there was 25, at least 25 different versions of blue. No, maybe it's 30 actually. <clears throat> was it? Yeah, I think no, at least 30. I literally went in the paint shop once. I saw those 30 types of blue, and I, and to be even crazier, I think there was um, at least 20 different types of green, 20 different uh, variations of green, um, and uh, let's not even get started on the red. Oh God! Oh no! Even worse, cream. Apparently, cream is 15 different um, versions. Who would have thought? Yes, I know all the painters and artists are saying, oh, please, we all know this, but for those of us who don't, 15 different versions of cream color? What the hell? I ju ju I'm just saying there's a reference all different color types we've got here. Wow, what the hell? Oh, dear. <clears throat> Nice! Beautiful! Oh, that works! I think! Nice! Nice! Ho oh, oh, ho hey. <coughs> Beautiful! That's what a monster around here looks like. We are outside Lady Hellbender's sanctuary. The creatures here are not her pets. They sort of do look like food. We're gonna be food if we don't climb out of here. Very spiky, um, undigestible food. But yes, I get your point. You think it leads to the fortress? Hopefully. This is Seknarf 9. All paths must lead to Lady Hellbender's fortress. Think I'd ever be shooting at a resistance ship. Drax, you can pull this. Something new every day, I suppose. If it were combustible, the rodents would have shot it by now. He makes an excellent point. No, no, no. I think we're good. Great. We made it halfway up. Now what? Whoop T2. Yes, just calm down, Rocket. Got it. There they are. Wink. All right, Rocket. That wind control panel's all yours. It still works. Great. Everyone watch out for beeping red lights. What? Why? Um. A resistance ship. We'll be lucky if there's only one booby trap. Actually, he's got a point. To be oh. Okay, that was um a tad sudden. I do not like the sound of that. that don't sound like no jelly thing. Huh. Well, it depends on what your description of a lady is. Just saying. <laughs> what? Oh, jeez. Um, voice gar goal. <clears throat> Collateral damage. The war rages between resistance forces and the, and the Vile Chitari. We've engaged them throughout the Seknarf system with the uh, with the costliest battles taking place in orbit of Seknarf 9. We've already seen the Chitari landing on the planet's surface, which makes us rethink our belief that this is a natural neutral world. <coughs> neutral, sorry. <coughs> Excuse me. Or maybe the monster queen fights her own uh, fights her own resistance below. Below. If we haven't, if we ever intended to find an alliance here, uh, we've long since ruined our chance by pelting her world with down uh, with downed ships. <coughs> Not just Chitari. We've already lost half our own fleet. And must look like the heavens are raining fire from down, uh, fire from down there. I suppose you got a point. I, well, I mean, that by me depends what you consider raining fire. I mean, if you know it ships, then you just know that someone's that someone's having a war in your neighborhood, which you don't like. Just say matter of perspective. 
There are no winners in this conflict, only death. We're waiting for the inevitable retreat orders. We cannot win this battle. I'm not even certain we can win this war. Huh. Oh, nice. <laughs> I was also saying that, but I wasn't sure if that was uh, usable. This thing here. Bukta wreckage. Centurion shared this name's Bukta, corroded in, uh, and interred without remains. Has uh, Santa Vesta suit designed for resistance to supply efforts. Huh. <clears throat> oh, I can get back up there. Cool. Got the squishy sounds. Huh. I do love the detail. Wow. Careful. Huh. Looks like something big moved through here. Yay. Charming. Yes. Some kind of monster thing. Good yes. Well done. Any chance it doesn't know we're here? Nope. Only question is, which one of us will jump first? Great. Probably not gonna jump us. Mm-hmm. Well, we'll have to see, won't we? Unfortunately. I am eager to experience Lady Hellbender's legendary menagerie. <laughs> yeah, I bet you are. <laughs> What's oh the boy. Monster you guys have seen? I once saw a brood transformed regalian wearing a Clintar parasite. You can fit a lot of teeth into a head that big. You have no idea. Not okay. Very um, creepy noises. Ooh, mysterious. Found something quilt. Yeah, some kind of cave. Maybe it's got hidden treasure. Or hidden bodies. Uh. I just want to check the other side first. That is unsettling as hell. Brute says everything with skin is monstrous to him. You sure you want to get lost out here? Relax, I'm just looking around. Not DL. Shit! Good God! Oh, is there pruning recommended for party? Okay. Okay. I think I have an idea how we can get through that, but just as a point of reference. I think that's where we're supposed to go. Which tells me. That I'm probably going to check out this thing over here. But if we could run, I'm not even kidding. Uh, please don't let there be a space baron here. I think we got more important things to worry about. Monster eggs. Yay. Okay, so note to self. If it looks like a monster cave and smells like a monster cave, it probably you know is a one. Planet. Huh. Just uh no, you try to stay ready. Just um having a look around, you know. Wanna stay prepared? Sides. Yeah. 
Nice! Beautiful! <laughs> Missed it! Give some jelly, dude. I took care of it. Fun, Scott. I knew I should have come down earlier. Yep. Hey, so where are you? Came with X. Whoa. Still checking things out. This place is bigger than I thought. Oh wow. Oh, that caught me off guard. Why would we be talking if we were dead? Scream really loud if you find another blob creature. You know I will. Yeah. Hey, um, listen, while it's just the two of us. What's up? Uh, you're busy exploring. Just meet me in the main cave when you're done looking around. Alright. Right. Oh, nice. Oh, just a sec. For Gamora, cool. I got that you the result of that. Oh dear, Rocket's been like, a moment? What are you talking about? It's like, he's just watch him try to exp listen to Peter explain that. Rocket's just like, seriously? A moment? That's how you're going to explain that? <laughs> Yeah, go on. Yeah, definitely. Something a bit different. Nice. Gets a bit more, uh, get a bit away from the more robotic sense. I'm exploring Quill, because uh, I really need to talk to you. What's up? There's something um, personal I need to get off my chest. It's go the ahead. Thing you don't want people. Uh, What's, What's up? On? Look. I'm not sure about this whole selling Groot thing. Rocky, we've been over this. It's gonna be fine. Yeah, but what if it's not? What if something bad happens? Groot's the only real family I got. He's the only one who's accepted me for me. You don't know what he's been through. The way he's been treated. Groot offered to do this. And if Gamora offers to tell a joke, you're just gonna assume it's funny? Not sure I get where... Th I'm saying Groot ain't built for scheming. He ain't no monster. We don't know that. It's obvious. Maybe to you, but three out of five of us think he's monster enough. So give him a chance. He knows what he's doing. Fine. Have it your way. Come I on. mean... The sooner we get the lady help, Ender, the sooner we can focus on paying that stupid fine. Easy for you to say. You ain't the one getting auctioned out. True. But I mean, Groot did offer, so... For what it's worth. You worry too much. <laughs> no sign of whatever made those claw marks? No, just some jelly dudes. Then it must be out on the hunt. Plus some really cool collectibles, so uh, yeah. Peter Quill, I have found the way forward. Yes, uh, that was pretty obvious. Can you get us through here, Gamora? Whatever it takes to find Hellbender. I gotta think she could cut her way through. Yeah, Gamora. If we want an audience with her, we will have to start showing some respect. This from the guy who calls me Harlot Spot of Thanos. An accurate description. We all know which Harlot spawned it first. <laughs> what about her sister Nebula? Mm. I forgot about the blue Harlot spawn. Say the word Harlot again, and my knife will. S Gamora's actually adopted, so not even that accurate. Yeah. But yeah. Also, not a Harlot. Right, right. That too. I mean, she. Find a way out of this jungle. She is adopted, so yeah. Would you rather be wet than lost? Not particularly. Okay. Let's, where the hell did you go, Drax? What about you, Drax? Worst monster? Oh, no. No, 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 no. He's just gonna say the rodent. Don't give him the pleasure. I was not going to say that. Okay. Fine. Go. I was deep in the jungle of an impossibly hostile planet. At the end of a bridge, I found this small, hairy, weasel shaped abomination. Scott! Oh! <laughs> Oh boy. Should we ask them for directions? <laughs> I'm thinking maybe they are directions. Seriously? Oh, like a signpost. Actually, that's something. a good point. I'm Temp not saying it's an arrow with the word fortress on it. But no, no. Yeah. Fair point. Yeah. I saw when we were topside. 
was Lady Hellbender's fortress. Statues would lead the way. Fair point. I actually, I totally agree with you on that one. A very uh, astute observation there. Very, very astute there, Gamora. I mean, it is a tad obvious, but even so, still good up. A solid observation. To be fair, I don't see the others pulling up such observations, so... Although, in all fairness, that would be a uh, fairly straightforward thing for Gamora to point out, you know? Some obvious, but, you know. The thing you would probably expect, very blunt from her. At least it's blunt, but... I don't... I Sarcastically caring is probably not, not the correct word, but, you know... She's she's carrying in a blunt. It, she has a calm, passively or me, uh, mellowly caring bluntness bluntness about her. <laughs> I know whole lot of words in there, but <clears throat> don't know much other way to describe that. To be honest, oh what the hell. And delicious and it melts in your mouth and looks like a tree apparently <coughs> and it is made of salted water no that's just the name uh that looks like someone might have to try and cross <coughs> let's just have a quick look first ooh so then we can get up through. Okay, we can come back through there. Cool. I'm exploring. Oh sh! Oh shut up, Rocket. I don't lay eggs. Good God, Rocket! You really are trying to thread the needle into us, so to speak. No, actually, jam it in would be a more accurate description. Looks more alien than the other ones. They are all alien. <laughs> I know they're all alien. I mean, this one's freakier. Oh boy. <clears throat> uh, dead end. That's just great. Wait, is that Chitauri Tech over there? Ask Chitauri. No, no, it is. It's a retractable bridge. They used them at the prison I was in. Too bad the controls are on the other side of the giant chasm. We what do you do not have time to dawdle in this jungle. I shall hurl the creature over the chasm so he may activate the bridge. I may activate a hole through your face. <laughs> oh, God. Um, Put um. Me down. I, uh, I, I. Uh, um. I don't know what to do. Uh. Uh, Put me down. I'm going to regret this. No, no stop, Drax. Throwing rockets. Very well. You sons of fucking gods! How will we cross? Don't face the Look cross. around. We'll find another way. Huh. I didn't really want Rocket being angry at me. I mean, he's the only guy I think. It appears to be able to do any of my upgrades. <coughs> Not a chance. We both know it's too far for you to stretch across. Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. Just leave it. What's your problem? My problem is Meathead trying to huck me over a cliff. Ooh. There has to be something we can use. Maybe a tall tree? Taller than roots. Okay, hold up. What's Chitauri Tech doing on a backwater mud ball like this? Perhaps Lady Hellbender repelled the invading swarm. It was among the spoils. It would be easier to throw the road. Okay. No, it would not. What if he breaks a leg? He would still have three. No one's throwing. Oh, God. I found a way where you lot are just doing God knows what. Wow, it is dark in here. If you bump into any monsters, let us know. Monster really? Wow. Okay. Well. 
All right, we're going to end this one here. <laughs> oh, God's sake. I mean, <coughs> excuse me, I could have thrown Rocket in there, but over there, I mean, but look, I don't need, Rocket can get pretty tempted as it is. We don't need him getting any more pissed off than normal. So he's our tech cheat. He's our tech expert. Does uh, seemingly what we I've seen so far does uh, uh, Cylons upgrade. So I mean, heck of a flyer, heck of a pilot. So I mean, he's kind of necessary to the team, quite essential in more ways than one. So um, I'd uh, yeah, I think um, I might have dodged a bullet. I mean, I could have thrown him across, but you know, let's. Um, Let's see, I hope I don't regret that, but yeah, it is what it is. Let's see what happens. Anyway, <laughs> see you next time.